hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i know i know this video is kind of well overdue at this point i wanted to and i should have and i planned to have this video up at the very end of october preferably on the anniversary of my surgery but listen life has been <laughs> crazy all right chaotic is an understatement so i just wasn't able to get it up when i wanted to but nevertheless we are here even though it's november that's okay so yes as you guys can see the title i'm finally doing my one year post-op surgery video if you are new here then a little over a year ago um on october 22nd to be exact of 2018 uh i had a retinal detachment surgery my retina detached and i had a scleral buckle put around my eye to fix the detachment now if you've been following my journey then you know that i had a pretty hellacious healing journey um it was rough there for the beginning for the first few months or more it was rough but i made it through um i did document a lot of that process so if you are totally new to all of this then definitely go back and watch some of those videos i will link the original video down below of my actual surgery i did film a little bit of that but aside from that i guess we'll go ahead and jump into things i did decide to go ahead and keep my glasses on for this video but if you guys have seen any of my other videos in between you guys know that i do wear contacts now as well um and everything's fine you guys have probably seen my eye with contacts in so you know kind of what it looks like nowadays but um, i do have my glasses on or my heavy bifocals as i like to call them because they're a little thick all right but we'll get into all that um a little bit later so i guess to really just kind of kick things off i will show you guys my eye up close what it looks like now um so if you get squeamish over these things or looking at other people's body parts up close or whatever then this is your warning back away now click off fast forward whatever you have to do because i'm about to show you guys my eye up close just a few more seconds now okay here we go so i'm taking off the bifocals whatever here is my eye this is looking at it straight forward it's this one by the way my left eye as you guys can tell looking straight forward you don't see a lot of redness however um if you kind of look in my inner and outer corners you will see that i still have some slight redness in those areas um I'm not sure exactly why, but my doctor said that it's normal. And I have two eye doctors, by the way. I have my normal eye doctor, which, you know, checks on me, gives me contacts and glasses and all those things. And then I have my uh, retina specialist. And they both say that it's normal. Um, so um, some people deal with redness afterwards. Some people do not. Uh, I was one of the very lucky ones that just, you know, Get the luxury of dealing with excess redness even after I said it's been a year well over a year at this point and i'm still dealing with that redness right now it's kind of light uh because i've had my glasses on for a while um my eyes aren't irritated or anything but if i like wear my contacts too long or maybe i'm having allergies or my eye just gets irritated for whatever reason then those inner and outer corners will get really 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 red like almost pink eyeish red um you can really tell that they're irritated so that's that but right now it's it's light so it kind of fades in and fades out but that redness has been there for the longest time and um i'm not really sure if over the years maybe it will fade more and more or maybe i will just have that redness for the rest of my life now i don't know um but it's there for now and another thing that i did show you guys this uh sometime along my journey i don't remember what video it was but i had an issue at first i didn't know what this was so if you look i'm gonna lift up my eyelid here and you're gonna see like a little bubble or what looks like a little bump or something i hope you guys can see it um but i will show you really fast so i'm gonna i hope you guys can see this because i have no idea what i'm doing right now i can't see but maybe you guys can see it, I hope. So, um, that was a concern of mine during my healing journey, but turns out it's just the scleral buckle around my eye, like the end of it or some part of it that just so happens to be, I don't know, protruding through the 
eye or whatever um, it doesn't hurt it doesn't cause me any pain again my doctor said that that sometimes happens and nothing to worry about um, as long as it doesn't cause me any pain or um, any problems then it's, it's fine it's nothing to worry about and so far um, it hasn't thank God <laughs> um, so yeah that's just the scleral buckle that was put around my eye you can just see a piece of it right there so that's a little weird uh, but it is what it is and yeah uh let's see what else my last appointment that i had was i believe it was in august this past august i can't quite remember it went great it was just a checkup uh i believe it was like six months from the last time i seen them everything went well everything looked great thank goodness my retina is still um attached everything's holding up great and another cool thing is that every time you go to like a checkup they will check your vision right so they'll do like the cover your eye can you read this um what numbers do you see blah 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 kind of thing you know and of course with my glasses um they said i have 20 20 vision which is crazy they were shocked they were like that is really good they were like because a lot of times with retinal detachment patients, you, we don't see 20-20 vision um, after surgery. So that's pretty good. And I was shocked because I'm like, honey, if you only knew how blind I am uh, without all this, it's crazy to think that with my glasses, I can see 20-20 vision even after um, having retinal detachment surgery. So I'm thankful though. I'm thankful. Um, but it's just mind blowing. Um, but yeah, and my next appointment is I believe February because that will make it another six months after the last time I seen him. So basically I will be going back every six months or so just for a checkup just to make sure that um, everything's still holding up nicely and everything still looks well. Now of course if I had any concerns or problems in between that six month span then I can call back and make an appointment and go in but so far I haven't had any concerns. Um, so I'm just waiting on that six month appointment to come up in February and hopefully everything still looks great and whew, yes. As far as the other eye, because you guys know if you've been following me that I also had to have laser done on this eye as well just because he saw a few weak spots in there. No holes or tears or anything just yet but he wanted to go in and laser them just to make sure that a detachment didn't happen so he did go in and laser and kind of um you know i guess piece together some weak spots so that way that it didn't happen and um he did look at this eye as well and everything's going fine in this eye also so i'm very thankful for that and i just pray that everything keeps going this way and that we have no further problems <sighs> that's all i can do so yeah um honestly that's kind of it as far as like any updates go not much has change really as you guys can see I'm fine my eyes fine um, you see what it looks like um, I'm not in any pain nothing crazy has happened um, I've just been kind of living my normal life um, besides the fact that I have thicker glasses um, ever since so yeah I mean there's not really much too much more to say but I did think this update was very necessary just because everybody's journey is different um, but I did want to show you guys that hey I had this surgery and I'm good I'm okay I'm back to my normal self I can see my eye looks normal um, you know because I know a lot of people have reached out to me during this whole thing and you know they're very nervous about it which trust me I get it because I was there um, and they were very nervous hoping and wondering like will I ever be the same and it's like yeah Yes, you will um, your vision may change a little bit but hey you know you can get your life back and you will get your life back it's just kind of that waiting game um, and you had to just make it through that healing process and it can be rough I know it can be <laughs> very rough but it can be done you just got to be strong and hold tight and it'll be here before you know it I promise I know it seems like if you're going through it right now I know you're like oh my god it's taking forever uh, but as time goes on you'll be able to look back and this will be just a moment in your life and you'll look back and you'll be like oh that actually went back faster than i thought i made it through it i'm good so yeah with all that being said i just want to take a moment to kind of answer a lot of you guys's uh, most frequently asked questions for me like i mentioned a minute ago i've had so many people reach out to me throughout this process and on comment on my retina videos and it's just been crazy and mind-blowing to me 
like of how common this is and how many people this happens to and affects on the daily like it's insane before I went through this myself I never in a million years knew that this was such a common of a thing it's scary and it's crazy but it's real it's out there it's happening to a lot of people it's more common than you think so just know you're not alone um but yeah i get a lot of the same questions and i will go on there and i will answer them for a few different people but people still ask the questions so it's fine i try to get on there and i try to respond back to as many people as i can but it can get a little overwhelming so i figured in this update video right here i would kind of answer just a few of the ones that were just like constantly asked um just in case any of you uh maybe had those same questions yourself and just haven't asked them yet or whatever the case may be so it's not too awfully many but i did copy down the ones that i kept seeing repeatedly and the ones that i have answered several times so in no particular order uh let's go ahead and answer these for you guys so um one of the most commonly asked questions is how long does it take for you to heal and recover and my answer to everyone is always um it's different for everybody, all right, because everybody's body reacts different um, to trauma and surgery and everybody's body heals differently and everything like that. So on average, and what the doctor says, it could take about two months um, for you for your vision to come back and for you to completely heal about two to four months, something in between that time frame. Me, it took about five or six months though. Um, but that's because I had a pretty crazy healing journey, like I said. Um, maybe you guys have followed it and you've seen it. Um, if you haven't, those videos are out there. I'm not gonna go too into depth because I don't want to make this too, too long. But you guys are more than welcome to go watch those and kind of really see how I was doing, how my eye was doing and all that. But long story short, I was basically on my steroid drops for far too long, longer than I should have been. And it caused a world of problems for me. It caused um, increased swelling, increased pain. It caused my eye pressure to go up way, way, way higher than I should have been. Had I got off my steroid drop in a timely manner, I probably wouldn't have had such a long healing journey. Um, I try to stress that to people because I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Now, of course, you want to listen to your doctor and do what's the best, but also listen to your gut instinct, okay? Because doctors are humans too, which means they also make mistakes as well. It's okay, you know, it's okay. But that's why it's important for you guys to come together and work together. You know, if you're having a concern or you think mm, something ain't right don't be afraid to voice that to your doctor because um, your health is what matters and that's what y'all are there for to try to come to a common ground and get you better the next one is how is your vision now great I mean as great as it can be like I mentioned to you guys um, in the beginning um, according to my doctor with my glasses and stuff now I can see 2020 but obviously I can only see that well with my contacts on my glasses when I take them off that's another story okay it's very 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 blurry but there's nothing crazy going on with my vision as long as I have my glasses or contacts in I can see normal if you will um, just like I did before surgery um, I don't really experience floaters anymore or anything like that there's no flashes or anything now I have before my last appointment, I there were times where I still were experiencing some floaters, um, but it was very rare. Um, and it scared me at first because I'm like, oh no, please don't let this be happening again. Is something wrong? Um, but I went to my doctor. He checked it out. Everything's fine. They did say that um, even though you have this surgery, floaters can still be a thing. So just keep that in mind. Don't freak out. Um, as long as you're going to your checkups and you're getting your eye checked on regularly, um, and your doctor sees everything and says everything's okay, then then don't stress yourself out, okay? Because just just don't. Um, this process is already crazy enough on its own. Which leads me into the next one, which is does this surgery change your eyesight? And yes, it does. Why? That is because um, it alters the shape of your eye. Again, I had the scleral buckle put around my eye, right? So it's like a silicone band that's around my eye. So it is squeezing my eye, basically. Um, I know that sounds kind of painful, but it doesn't hurt. I feel no pain, um, but it does change your eyesight. Now, I already had bad vision before. Uh, so before surgery, I was like a negative seven, seven point something or another. Um, but now in this eye, I am a negative 
10 or negative 10 point something I can't remember I have it written down somewhere but uh, it is a negative 10 now so it did get a little worse a lot worse um, I also now have an astigmatism in this eye but again that is because it changed the shape of my eye and that's kind of what an astigmatism is um, so it did cause those two things for me um, which it's whatever I just you know require a special lens uh, for this one and I also require um, a special uh, contact lens so for my contacts like I'll have like a normal lens here for whatever prescription but then this one is like a toric lens or whatever it's called um, I don't really know what the <laughs> difference is all I know is it's special for astigmatism um, and yeah that's that also a lot of you ask me about uh, the gas bubble or anything like that or ask me questions pertaining to a gas bubble how long it takes to heal but as I just mentioned in the beginning and I have mentioned in all my other uh, retina videos I did not get a gas bubble at all to fix a detachment there are different ways of fixing it um, one of them being a gas bubble but I did not get that I simply only got this uh, scleral buckle placed around my eye no more no less so um, if there's any questions pertaining to the gas bubble I'm sorry but I can't help you there I don't know I wish I could but I have no experience with the gas bubble at all so I apologize for that um, but if you have scleral buckle questions please let me know I will um, answer them to the best of my ability next question is does surgery hurt the surgery itself no why because for me I was under general anesthesia which means I was completely asleep throughout the whole thing I had no idea what was going on thank god I'm so glad it worked out that way because that's what I wanted I wanted to be put to sleep I did not want to go under local anesthesia which if you guys don't know the difference local is kind of you're not completely under you're just kind of you're still awake but you're they kind of give you like some feel good medicine and kind of like you just don't care what's going on kind of a thing. That's the best way I can put it. But general anesthesia, you are knocked all the way out. Whew, and I'm so glad that I was because I don't know, I have too much anxiety to be put under local anesthesia. So the surgery itself for me, no, it doesn't hurt. Now for the local anesthesia, if you, if your doctor chooses that pathway, I'm not sure if you're able to feel any pain or any pressure or anything. I'm not sure about that. So I'm sorry. But for general, no, honey, you don't feel a thing. <laughs> now, when you wake up, it's a different story. Everybody's different. Some people wake up in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pain. Others, maybe not so much. For me, my eye itself, when I woke up, didn't even really hurt. It was my head. It felt like a migraine. I had a, like on the same side as my surgery. I felt like I had this horrible migraine right here in my head. It was awful. And then my eye just felt kind of scratchy like I had sand in it or something that I just couldn't get out so that's what it felt like for me right after now after talking with a bunch of other people about their surgery they had throughout this they've had different you know outcomes so again it's different for everybody but that's how it was for me just some scratchiness in the eye and like a migraine here on the head um, and then the last common question um, is, can this happen again? And um, according to my doctor, yes, it very well can. It can happen again in the same eye, it can happen again in this eye. I mean, it really just, unfortunately it can, but that's why um, when you have this surgery, you will go every three to six months, depending on what's going on with you. Um, luckily, since everything's been okay with me thus far, I'm going to go every six months. Um, and that's why they check on it so often, to make sure that things are still holding up and things are still going well. Because um, if not, you know, the sooner that they catch it, the better, because they can get it fixed. Um, so yeah, it can happen again. And that's scary to even think about, because whew, mm, 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 not to scare any of you, um, out there that may be going through this now um, trust me I'm in the same boat as you just because mine is currently fixed doesn't mean a thing um, so we're in this together <sighs> but yeah guys that is it uh, I feel like I've been talking forever I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope I helped some of you out um, those of you that were looking forward to this update again I'm sorry it came later than I had planned but it's here um, for those of you that are going through this, I'm praying for you guys. I know it's difficult, but you'll get through it. Um, I'm here for you guys. So if you have any questions that I didn't mention here or that you just want to know or whatever, then just leave them down below and I will 
again do my best to answer all of you and I do want to thank all of you for all the love and support that you guys have shown me um, on my original retina surgery video and even on the ones in between that I really do appreciate you guys like I said it's crazy to think that this is happening to so many people but you know we have each other you know I wish you all the best thank you guys so so much for watching I love you all and I will see ya in the next one